This is a starseed visualization technique developed by Lisa Renee that is designed to aid higher dimensional souls in developing their connection to their own multidimensional awareness. This technique is part of a series called Psychic Self-Defense, in which she places the focus on empowering starseed and indigo souls to protect themselves. It comes from a class devoted entirely to starseeds, and the following technique has been transcribed by myself through the included transcript that comes with this class. And just as a disclaimer, I am only sharing this with the intent of healing and empowering, and not for my own ego glorification. And I will leave a link to the class in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. And before beginning, ensure that you have activated your 12th dimensional shield and that you have created the hub handshake through the unity bell. North, South, East, West, Earth, Sky, and Heart. I ask to direct the four corners to be sealed in the light of unity and wholeness. I ask the crystal guardian forces to anchor this space, sacred in service to the law of one of which I serve. Activate the platinum ray within the pineal gland. See a platinum spark coming through the pineal, moving it down through your hara line, through the vertical central current and column. Connect into the 12D frequency hub, visualizing it as a large vortex of energy on the surface of the earth. Take a deep breath, sending it out and connecting with the 12D Platinum Light. Send your Platinum Spark into this vortex, creating the 12D Hub connection. As you breathe, fill your symbol code with Platinum Light and feel the connection. When it is full, bring the Sphere of Light back to you. See it coming in through your base shield, moving it up through the Hara line and correcting its positioning. When focusing on the Hara line, see a direct central Hara line widened and perfectly centered. Straighten and correct it. Phase align and anchor. Bring the spark of platinum light up through the base shield, seeing it come through and spark out lighter. Inhale the 12D light through every cell of your body. Weave it throughout all of your energetic bodies. The etheric body, the emotional body, the mental body, the spiritual body, and into your entire auric capsule. Move it up above your head. See the pillar of platinum and move it past your head up to about three feet above your head. Intend the 14th chakra to activate. Spin out the shielding and put a lid on top. Bring the platinum ray spark all the way up the center Hara column, up to about 3 feet above your head, and activate the 14th chakra. You will see it start to spin. You will see a gold silvery light flying out from around it, sparking or buzzing. Spin it, and you will see a platform being emitted. Fill yourself in, just like a lid on top of the jar, on top of your pillar. Then send a small little grounding cord from the top of your platform, three feet above your head, out into deep space. Now bring your attention back to the center point in the area between your ribcage. Drop it down behind the navel. Direct your consciousness here and place your finger around where your navel is, holding it there. This is the area of the fifth dimensional frequency 
in the first level of your core manifestation template, which looks like the tree of life. This is where the fifth dimensional energy first comes into your consciousness manifestation template, then moving into the throat. The throat is the second or third layer, and this is the first layer where that fifth dimensional frequency comes in. Behind your navel, see a blue flame. Then see a beautiful white sphere come inside the blue flame. This is your consciousness that you are bringing forth. Now we are going to take the white sphere and bring that aspect of your consciousness up into your pineal gland. See the white sphere moving up the heart line, up past your heart, centering it in your sixth chakra. See it in the center of your brain, then moving it directly sideways from your pineal gland over to your right shoulder. See it sitting there. Now we are going to enlarge it. With every inhale breath, see the white sphere getting larger until it reaches the size of a basketball. Just let it sit there. Attempt to feel this energy on your right shoulder. As you see it being enlarged, now move it back to center, placing it entirely around your head. Just as you took it from your pineal gland as a smaller sphere of white light and enlarged it, take the whole sphere and fully encompass it around your head, as if your head is inside this basketball-sized energy of white light. Feel into what that feels like. It has a fuzzy kind of quality about it. If you allow yourself to take some deep breaths and connect to it, you can feel the overview part of yourself. This is the higher aspect of you that is able to be neutral and make decisions from the space of the higher self. Now we are going to shrink it again. We are learning to expand and contract it. As you inhale, contract the white light from the size of a basketball back into your pineal gland as a small sphere of white light. See it sitting back in your pineal gland as a smaller sphere of white light. Exhale and push the white sphere out of your pineal gland into your violet spiral energy in the sixth chakra. As you push it out, see it moving out as a spiral. It's almost like a vortex when you exhale, pushing it out of your pineal gland. You will see it spin. It's like vortex spinning or chakra spiraling with the violet light. Take it out to a couple of feet in front of you. And when you inhale, bring it back into your pineal gland. Practice this for a moment. Do a couple of inhales and exhales. When you are inhaling, contract the white sphere to be small inside your pineal gland. When you exhale, push the white sphere expanding out of your pineal gland to a couple of feet in front of you. In front of you is your blue violet. It's like a violet tunnel of light that comes in and out. You can control this out of your sixth chakra, in and out. The inhale contracts and the exhale sends it out. Push it out and see that blue-violet tunnel of your sixth chakra. Allow yourself to experience what it feels like as you focus your consciousness for a moment on that sphere of white light. Inhale, contract. Exhale, expand. Out through the spiral of that violet light, indigo light, in your sixth chakra. As you inhale, inhale and contract the white light back into your pineal gland. And then station it in your throat center in the fifth chakra.
See it there and do the same thing. Exhale and expand it out. Take the white sphere through the fifth chakra and see it in front of you by a couple of feet. It's like a vortex. As you exhale, send the white sphere outward through your fifth chakra channel and then inhale it back in and contract it in your throat. The fifth chakra is about the fifth dimension, the fifth aspect of yourself. It's about embodying divine will and who you are at the divine will level. Inhale and contract the white sphere deep into your throat, and then exhale and enlarge it, sending it out of your throat. Allow it to be in front of you as a larger sphere in a bluish tunnel of light. Then again as you inhale, contract the white sphere and have it sitting in your throat chakra. Inhale it back up into your pineal gland. See the white light in your throat. Take a deep inhale, then move that white light into your sixth chakra. As you exhale, take the white light and move it out from the pineal gland and have it move out over your right shoulder again. This helps to awaken higher senses in the chakras existing at the fifth, sixth, and seventh levels. Beloved family, I thank you for this opportunity. I open to all processes required to align fully to my highest soul purposes. It is with great joy and reverence I am home in the light. I seal this session into the light of wholeness, unity, and truth in service to the oneself. And so it is lovingly decreed.